ladies and gentlemen, uh, to announce the winner of the Friendship Screenshot Award, the Director for Education and Public Affairs of the Royal Photographic Society, Dr. Michael Pritchard. Thank you so much for that. Um, and thank you, Ambassador, and thank you, Professor Moss, for your um, really important words. I think it's the worth worth all of us remembering and thinking on those once the, if you like, the, the more formal part of the ceremony is over. I think photography has been a real lifesaver, both to document the, the pandemic in our respective countries, but also, and this is really important, photography has been a really important therapeutic tool for a lot of people to document their experiences over well, in the, in the UK. UK the last 15 months or so and I think we've seen with entries to this screenshot competition how important during lockdown that meetings online have been to so many people and in fact a real lifesaver for people to connect families and friends. As we're going to see shortly the screenshot entries show the importance of that connection to fight isolation and the numerous entries connected different generations, they connected lovers, they connected friends and neighbours in ways that were both creative and as importantly fun as well. This is a fun competition, it was, it was designed to help lighten everyone's experience and I think it's done that with plenty of smiles which I think we all need. So it's my pleasure really to announce the winners and runners up of the Friendship Screenshot competition. So in reverse order, in third place, the recipient is Lucy Barlow from the United Kingdom. And Lucy submitted a screenshot portraying her little niece, Issy, as she enjoyed her concert. And Lucy said that Issy has been the light of my life in lockdown, funny, caring, loving. She remains the reason to play every day. And I think this is a really just generous picture. It's such a fun picture and it certainly brought a smile to my face when I, I saw it. So it's a worthy third place to Lucy Barlow. Moving on to our second place and our second place winner goes to Shamil Agave in Russia. And Shamil captured a live birthday celebration and in his screenshots are four grandchildren, each in different parts of that large country, who managed to position a balloon with a portion of each on their screen to form the number 60, much to the surprise of the grandmother who was 60 that day. So congratulations, Shamal, for your very creative and very carefully composed image. And finally, we come to our first place and overall winner of the Friendship Screenshot Contest. And it goes to Nicola Parker from Surrey. Congratulations. It's entitled A Kiss From Across the Miles. And Nicola's screenshot portrayed three generations, Nicola, her daughter Molly, and 80-year-old grandmother Mary and the latter's blowing a kiss to, from her nursing home. And uh, Nicola said, we've not been able to hug mum recently. And I think that's an experience that so many have, have said, and I think it's a wonderful picture. So Nicola, would you like to say a few words about your entry and your experience of lockdown and your photography? Hi, everybody. Um, it's lovely to see you all. Uh, completely shocked by the fact that our entry won. It was very much a snap photograph taken at a very uh, quick moment, uh, really to show other family members that mum was doing well and that she was safe and happy. It was taken on New Year's Day when we called her to wish her a happy new year. And it was a split decision just to take that photograph and be able to send it on to other family members. Um, I think for us, you know, technology is very much uh, sometimes an evil when we worry about the amount of time that we spend on here. Um, uh, sometimes it's not such a good thing, but during the pandemic, it, it's been a lifeline for so many and it certainly was for us. Uh, whilst we live in the UK, my mother lives in Ireland, in the Republic, and they closed down very quickly and very, very sharply last year before anybody else did. 
I, in fact, was visiting her at the time when it happened. And we had unfortunately been to the hospital for a radiotherapy session that morning because my mother had developed some skin cancer. And I brought her back to the nursery, where the nursing home where she wasn't very well. And uh, I went out to get some supplies. And when I returned, they wouldn't allow me to come in. The order had already been given that we had to shut. So I returned to uh, the airport and flew back to Heathrow. And that's the last time we saw her, which was last March. So without technology, we would never have been able to see her. And it's meant so much to her and so much more than a phone call, just to be able to see our faces. Um, I think I'm so humbled because I'm looking at the other entries um, and they're beautiful. But what it's done for me is really um, show me that all of us have been very much affected by this pandemic in this time. Technology has been a wonderful thing and whatever our nationality, wherever we are in the corner of the world, humanity has enabled us to be able to know and experience the same feelings that we've all felt throughout this time. And it, it's been a really lovely experience. It's made my mum smile, which is very special. And I thank you for that. And I thank humanity for having the, the you know, ex, the knowledge and the idea to do something like this with technology, which has really made a difference. So thank you very much.